Well, what an exciting ride in that chopper. Boy, the ambassadors and I and George are just buzzing. So, you come down into this little valley here, and this is pretty much where it all starts, George. Yeah, I'm grinning ear to ear. It was such an exciting flight. It was brilliant. The ambassadors were jumping up and down. <laughs> So we've flown up to the start of the Rangitata, the birthplace of the Rangitata. And um, it all starts because we've got this huge mountain chain stretching 500 kilometers up and down here, Katiriturri Otomoana. Uh, the highest point is Auraki at 3,724 meters. But look around us, all these gorgeous high mountains. And what they're doing is the westerly winds come sweeping in over the coast and they get forced up into the cold air and it starts to rain. So imagine up here, down there on the coast, they're getting, what, two to five meters of rain a year? Up here, we get 15 meters of rain. So imagine in one year, if that rain didn't disappear, we'd be in a huge swimming pool <laughs> looking up at 15 meters uh, of rain. It's a lot of rain. It's a lot of rain. And look what it does to the mountains. It just erodes them away. Mm. And we're actually stood yeah, we're stood on stones, but guess what's beneath us? Ice? Yeah, ice. Meters of ice. And it's been protected by this layer of stones. And that's also been what's been eroding these hills. Unfortunately, these glaciers are disappearing because of climate change. Yep. And that's going to have a bad effect on the Rangitata because in the winter we'll get more rain and less snow. So in the winter we get lots of floods. And then because there isn't that reservoir of water sitting here during the summer, our rangitata is going to start to dry out in the summer months. So not only here in Canterbury, but all across the world, there's going to be problems as glaciers start to disappear. So basically, let's see, you say it's like a reservoir, so, this, so the water's kind of released slowly from those glaciers in summer to keep the rangitata flowing. That's exactly right. And worldwide, the area of glaciers at the moment is about the same size as South America. Imagine that, South America in ice. Mm. Uh, but that's slowly disappearing as the world warms up. Well, it's great being here. You've been to the mouth of the Rangitata, and now you're here at its headwaters, where the river begins. And you're very lucky to be here, because you might have noticed from this morning that there was quite a bit of cloud around. So it's lifted just in time for you to get up here so have a look around and enjoy.